One or two of you in this room have a bicuspid aortic valve, and most likely, an aneurysm in your chest. It's a ticking time bomb, and you might not even know you have one. Now, when blood flows from your heart to the rest of your body, it flows through your aortic valve, which for most people has three flaps. But for up to 2% of the population with the most common inherited heart defect, there are only two flaps, and this is the bicuspid aortic valve. These patients are also prone to progressive weakening and enlargement of their aortas, leading to an aneurysm. But what causes these aneurysms is not well understood. It used to be thought the cause was genetics, that you're born with a genetically abnormal valve, so you must also have been born with a genetically weakened aorta. But recent studies show that blood flow may actually create regions of stress in the aorta that lead to disease. But why do we care what even causes these aneurysms in the first place? Well, a recent study of Canadian heart surgeons showed that not only was their management of these patients highly variable, but alarmingly, it was often inconsistent with current surgical guidelines. Surgeons who thought the cause was genetics were more aggressive, and those who felt it was blood flow were more conservative. So our lack of understanding as to what causes the aneurysms has resulted in surgical management that is not ideal. But this is where my work comes in. If you turn on a faucet, water flows out in an ordered manner, similar to a tricuspid aortic valve. Now imagine even just slightly putting your finger in that stream of water and what happens? Chaos. Well, it's the same on a bicuspid valve. Because the valve is misformed, it deflects the blood flowing out of it, creating abnormal blood flow patterns in the aortas of these patients. Now, it's thought that this creates disease, but it hasn't been well studied. With my work, we use a new imaging tool called 4D Flow MRI that lets us map out the blood flow patterns in individual patient aortas. And my findings show, for the first time, that tissue collected from regions of high blood flow is more diseased than tissue from regions of normal blood flow in the same patient's aortas that we've mapped out. This suggests a role for blood flow in the development of these aneurysms. Now, we need to validate this tool for clinical use. Because if we can give surgeons maps of diseased tissues before they operate, they'll know what tissue is diseased and should be removed, but also what tissue is healthy and can be left intact. In other words, they can tailor their operations to be as aggressive or conservative as needed for individualized patient treatment plans. So for those of you in this room who have a bicuspid aortic valve and an aneurysm in your chest, it seems that the best way to diffuse this ticking time bomb is just to go with the flow. Thank you.